What's up guys, Danny TV here and today we're working on our hardtop. We're going to go ahead and try to repair the one that we got. If we can't get this one repaired, we're going to replace it with another one. Work with what we got. So we went ahead and removed all of our seals that go around and our glass in the back to repair both of these cracks back here. And we went ahead and glued on these brackets here. We're going to go ahead and rivet these on. For now we've got them welded up with some JB Weld and they're holding up great. Went ahead and glued our crack right in here and then we can go ahead and fiberglass over that so that's going to give it the extra support. Once we get these brackets painted and installed the rear seal you're not going to see this mess here but we're going to go ahead and give this a few minutes to dry. This should only take one hour to cure. And after that, we're going to go ahead and fiberglass over that and get this smooth. But that's just going to give it the extra support. It's nice and sturdy. But our main problem is in this corner here. We're going to go ahead and try to fill this up with some urethane adhesive. So that it could give it that nice support and prevent any leaks from the inside and we're also going to go ahead and make some kind of some sort of bracket up in here but if we can't repair this hardtop or if it leaks we will be replacing it but for now we're just going to go ahead and work with what we got and try to repair this one this is the biggest damage on it and we're going to go ahead and try to repair that. So I went ahead and started sanding most of it down with the 80 grit. Smooth it up a bit because this texture is very hard to get off. So we're going to continue working on that while this dries. And we're also going to, we're going to go ahead and fill this up with some urethane adhesive. And let this set for 24 hours and getting it ready for primer.
What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we are working on our hardtop. So this is gonna complete our Jeep build. So we are done repairing all of the cracks. We went ahead and fiberglass and bondoed over that to get a nice smooth finish. We did have to completely sand the hardtop with the 180. So when you finish primering it, you get a nice smooth finish instead of the texture OEM paint that comes standard on the Jeeps. We are gonna color match this with our Jeep, but I do wanna go ahead and paint the top half of it black. So we are gonna tape along the body line here. It's gonna take two to three days to completely paint this. We are going red on the lower section and black on the top. We do have the calipers painted for the BMW and we are ready to take it off the frame. So stay tuned to the channel for more builds. have some 3M sealer over here in this groove and overall the hardtop turned out great so we are ready to finally clean it up retape everything and spray it in so stay tuned what's up guys and welcome back to the channel today we're gonna start with painting our hardtop so we've got everything nicely taped we went ahead and sanded our primer and everything looks good so we're gonna go ahead and throw our first coat of red. Make sure to stay tuned to the channel, subscribe for more, giving it that Ferrari red color, and we are ready for our first coat of base. So the primer work turned out great. It's nice and smooth all the way around. This is where our cracks were. As you our body lines turned out okay. We're gonna see how they look like with paint. And we are fixing to turn this hardtop into a Ferrari red and black hardtop. So this right here is gonna complete the build right there. Primer so, as well. So it's already primered. So the top and this Freedom top here is gonna go black.
right, so we are done taping off our hard top. Everything that you see in primer is going to be painted gloss black. I'm gonna get this done tonight. So we are gonna go ahead and spray the black and see how it turns out, so stay tuned. So here's a quick update on the Jeep. We are just gonna give both of them a wash. I do have the hard top on. The hard top turned out great. We did make a, a few minor runs on it, but that's okay. The Jeep is a work in progress. We, we are still looking to regearing our axle and doing lots of other things to it, so stay tuned and I'll keep you updated on that. But the hardtop turned out great. Hopefully it doesn't leak. So we are ready to test it out in the rain. That just really completed the build right there. So stay tuned on the Jeep and I'll keep you updated on that. a quick walk around at night we are still missing our little covers that go here but overall it came out great there is a few imperfections we've got a few runs that we made and there is a few areas that have a little bit of trash and orange pill but we are going to completely buff it out doesn't look too bad in here so I don't see any major water leaks so we're gonna let that sit overnight and give it a good inspection in the morning so stay tuned guys all right guys so we're gonna wrap this video up so we are gonna leave the Jeep outside to test fit make sure that we don't have any leaks thank you all for watching the video if you enjoyed it please be sure to like and subscribe and we'll catch you guys very soon I think we woke him up. What's up, buddy? He's giving y'all kisses right there. AKC registered German Rottweiler. He was born here in the States, but he still has his tail. He's very tired. He just got familiar with the new area and he's been sleeping a lot. So Mm-hmm.
Bonito.